I'm Rodney Myers, Lieutenant from Fire and Rescue. I'm a training lieutenant in the training division. I have 15 years. I'm Roger Myers. This is my twin brother, Rodney. I've been a firefighter for 15 years. I'm currently assigned to Station 7. We used to come home from the clinic, uh, Western Health Clinic, and she used to walk us by the station. The guy saw us looking at the truck. Hey, y'all want to come in and look at the truck? Sure. Went in, let us sit around on the truck. Say, hey, we're about to eat. Y'all want to eat? Never forget, we had chicken and dumplings that night. Yeah, first time I ever had. And the guys would go over the truck with us over our school work, and they just let us hang out around the station. Then as we got older, we'd actually ride our bikes and make calls with the guys in the neighborhood. And we would beat them to the calls most of the time. <laughs> it was fun, to say the least, in a young child, and seeing that fire truck, and especially when they get there, and they know you by name. For some reason or another, they just took a liking to us, and they, Introduced us to what we have been. The city still has it today. It's called the Explore Program. It allows you to take a couple of first responder classes and then you're allowed to ride the rescue unit and come and actually see what the day to day life of a firefighter is. And once we did that, that was it. We've been here ever since. We go out and we talk to the kids at the high school about you know taking the firefighters in. And like he stated to the kids this morning, we've been here 15 years and we ain't worked a day in 15 years because we in joy coming. We look forward to coming to work. I love it. I mean, I'm a hate the day I got to give it all up. This is home. This is this is the city that raised us. We grew up in Tuxedo Housing Project, better known as the Brickyard. Uh, cool. Actually, the address was 1112 21st Street East. <laughs> Just because we lived in the housing project didn't mean we had become subject to the environment that we were in. And so that also played a factor into me becoming a firefighter. Seeing all the tragedies and all the heartache that was surrounding us, I wanted to do something about it. Once I became a firefighter, and up until this day, I have been able to help some of the people I actually grew up with, went to school with, and a lot of people's houses are still standing, and a couple people still alive because of what me and him and a lot of other firefighters were able to do. My thing is, I like for people to know just because of where you come from, don't dictate where you go. I thank God for the fire department because coming from what we come from is could have went a totally different direction. And having the fire department and having those guys take us on their wing and instilling us what it is to be a man, how you supposed to carry us in life. Those lifelong lessons that we still carry to this day that I even instill into my own children. So, uh, I mean, I love Birmingham. Ain't no other place like it.